Hello everybody, this is Brian Rowe from Mythic MTG Tech. I'm doing a vlog here from Gen Con. I've been producing a little bit of content out here. I did a deck tech for the vintage deck that I've been playing. Uh, I went three and two in a trial yesterday. I ended up getting caught up talking to artists today, so I didn't make a trial today, but I've been having a lot of fun. I played EDH well into the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. time period. I've been doing a lot of trading. There's a lot of boosts out here with some amazing old Magic cards. Uh, sealed Alpha, Beta packs, just crazy stuff. Uh, so to update you on Gen Con generally, it's really interesting because we have the Pro Tour going on at the same time right now. So Magic has really been de-emphasized with regards to Gen Con, but there's still a lot of giant dealers. Pretty much all the big names are out here. TCG Player is here in force, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Channel Fireball has a small booth here. Uh, cool Stuff has a giant booth, although it's mostly focused on board games. And then a lot of those smaller companies that are on the East Coast that have power and sealed product are all out here. A uh, lot of FBB stuff also. There's clearly a giant vintage and legacy market that Gen Con is still playing to at this point. It is definitely a solid place to go to play Legacy or Vintage. Or The Vintage tournaments seem to be running about 20 to 40 people per event, uh, which is very nice. The competition is very strong. I've seen several uh, individuals who write for major websites or who are well-known former Pro Tour players who are playing out here. Uh, additionally, if you're looking to trade, there's a great opportunity to trade. You see some of the big traders who come into GPs internationally, they're clearly here to do trades. And after the Vintage or Legacy trial of the day is done, there's usually a lot of trading going on. Now, I went really light on what I brought for trade stuff here this weekend because there is also a pretty high theft issue at Gen Con generally. The main booth for the individuals who are putting on the Magic event their big banner, where everybody else kind of has this cool-looking picture in their name, has a bunch of pieces of advice to make sure your stuff doesn't get stolen. You just have to be really careful. There's clearly some targeted stuff going on there. Uh, there is also an incredible amount of artists out here. I spent a good part of today in Artist Alley. They have this giant area with RPG, MTG, uh, Hearthstone artists also. A lot of board game artists there. Uh, these are the magic artists that are supposed to be here. I think I found all of them that are in Artist Alley, and I'm going to have some cool pictures of that. I might show you a few quick previews here in a moment. And then outside of Artist Alley, it's a lot tougher to find those particular artists, with the exception of Steve Argyle. Steve Argyle has this booth that makes him look like a rock star. And with the incredible artwork that he has been doing recently all the way back to Liliana the Veil and then through to brand new stuff or the uh, Mox promo, um, World Magic Cup qualifier promo Thalia. Seeing those in giant prints was just incredible. The detail that goes into those is amazing. Let me see if I can pull up a few quick images. I'm going to turn this into a full uh, video at another point in time of some of the artists. Here's some of the Argyle stuff. That does not even show you anywhere near how giant his booth is. Now, this is a playmat of that Thalia artwork. Just incredible. Uh, let me see if I have one that hits the full booth there. Yeah, this stuff is just wonderful. Giant prints there uh, for sale. I'm going to turn all of this into a video overall. Uh, so watch out for that Artist Alley video coming up. Just incredible stuff. The artists were really nice to talk to, some cool people out here. Uh, one of the big things that is coming about, though, is scanner technology in Magic Card Collections. And we've got two booths that are very, very close to each other, one of those being TCG Player and the other one being Quiet Speculation, that are both prominently featuring their scanner technology. I've got an interview with TCG Player tomorrow, so I should have some more details on this. But what I was looking at was them scanning giant numbers of cards rather quickly 
and it finding the highest buy list price on TCG Player. On the first day, halfway through the day, they were well over $20,000 buy listed, and I'll have a full number for you guys at the end of the con here, but they are doing massive buying via their new buy list feature. It, it's very interesting, and I'm curious what it's going to do to the market. We have such different markets between the U.S. and Europe, and the EU card market is really kind of driving prices down there. Well, in the U.S., you've got TCG Player and you've got the uh, Star City, Card Kingdom, Channel Fireball buy list that is kind of the go-to place for people to sell cards. They don't really sell directly to each other, and the smaller stores don't sell to each other in the U.S. This buy list feature on TCG Player may have a significant impact on the U.S. market prices. It's going to do one of two things. It's either going to drive buy list prices up and cut the margins as people compete to grab those cards, or it's going to allow more people to set up their own accounts as stores, buy list things themselves, and kind of make offers on that level. I'm very curious to see what actually happens with this, but it could shake up the market a lot. TCG Player is not the only one in the scanner business right now where, where this is really kind of facial recognition for magic cards. We've got this, I hate to say this, terrible video over here on Quiet Speculation. Uh, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen come out of Quiet Speculation. I follow some of their stuff when it comes to finance stuff. I am not a paid member. I only go through their public stuff. But this is a program that you yourself can use and use it to categorize your collection, try to figure out what cards are. And it seems to do a pretty good job. I'm going to go through and do a test of it uh, tomorrow. I got some footage of it yesterday. The access for individuals to use a scanner on their own collection, find out what it's worth, and then move those things that they don't want or don't use could have a giant impact on the market. One of the reasons that we've had so much price fluctuation here in the U.S. is that TCG Player has a small percentage of the available cards. There's a lot of cards sitting in people's personal collections that they don't even know has value. If there's a way to easily categorize those collections and then sell them if they hit particular price points, that could make a huge difference. There would be a lot more volume of cards available and people would know what the values on their cards are. So this is really interesting to me from a magic finance perspective. So I've had a lot of fun here in Gen Con in three different ways. Number one, meeting all of the artists, some wonderful artists out there, great artwork. This is one of the best conventions anywhere in the world to meet artists. Uh, number two, playing vintage, great competition, really good players. I went three and two playing my blue red control deck uh, I had a little bit of trouble with uh, vault key combos that went off really early. We had full counter wars, and I ended up losing those. Uh, but it was a great deck overall. I'm very happy with it. And then this new technology that is being entered into the Magic Market to allow both stores and to allow individuals better access to their collections and value is really, really interesting to me. If you've got any questions about this stuff, please leave it in the comments. I'm going to be doing full videos when I get back to Seattle area. I am most likely going to be out at GP Portland. So this stuff is going to come up after the 16th of the month. I'm going to do a lot of videos towards the end of the month, uh, but I'm still going to be uh, working on stuff and traveling around. If you happen to be down in, at GP Portland, definitely say hi to me. I, I'm 90% going to be there. Um, I, it looks like it's going to happen. I am super excited about going out to GP Portland. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I will have another update here uh, before the end of the weekend uh, after I talk to TCG Player and spend some more time having fun out here at Gen Con. For more Magic the Gathering videos, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, use the cards. Wise.